So hello, um, I want to quickly talk about uh, a new hack I've been doing for the A6300. It is about the overheating problem. Let me be clear in the beginning, I'm just doing this for fun. Uh, we installed firmware 1.1 and um, it's clear that it's helping quite a lot. Depending on what you're doing and what kind of setup you are in, uh, it now either doesn't overheat anymore or it will take a lot longer before it to happen. Again, it depends if, if you're using a case, um, uh, if you're swapping batteries, yes or no. Overall, if I have to summarize, I think if you use um, batteries and switch them out every half an hour, you're probably going to be okay for a few hours, which is, I think, already more than enough. Uh, but again, we are trying to research or at least trying to figure out where actually the problem is or where it can be tuned. Um, again, I'm doing this for fun. I don't think there's anything wrong. Also, I'm not really putting a lot of time into uh, making this a great looking video. Um, it's just for fun. So let's uh, get going. So the idea is that it looks to me, especially with firmware 1.1, that it's actually the one point of the camera. So I'm now using an A6000, that's because it's kind of the same. That there's a sensor over here, which is probably the first one that is giving you the overheating warning. The other areas, so for example, this side of the camera, right? So the 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 LCD side uh, gets quite hot. Yesterday I got almost hot to the touch for me, and I didn't get an overheat warning. Now in my new test, I did get an overheat warning, while that part was quite cool, or let's say warmish. So clearly these sensors are not the fun one reacting. Um, I think it's fair because we are playing with lithium batteries, um, which um, well can be a fire hazard or even blow up. That the sensor near the camera, um, um, near the battery is probably the one that's reacting first. Now the good news of course, if you are using a dummy uh, um, plug, which uh, we are going to uh, hack up uh, today, um, there's no danger of things blowing up because there's no lithium battery there. So um, I think the sensor is, I would almost say, overreacting. But even then, uh, we did some testing and uh, with dummies and it kind of overheats at the same moment. And I think it has to do with the area next to the battery, if it's in the housing, probably is uh, um, doesn't also allow uh, heat to escape. So uh, already a few months ago, uh, Jim on the uh, Facebook forum kind of suggested making a dummy plug that actually has, has holes in it. So this morning um, I um, created one with holes in it and tested that. Uh, that worked quite well. I would argue it was um, taking way more time to overheat or at least give it a warning. And even then blowing like this on the camera um, uh, on the battery uh, compartment uh, uh, turned uh, the warning off. Actually it stayed off then, so I could do a full one and a half hours. But since I was lazy and I had some stuff uh, lying around anyway, I decided to go one step further and take one of these fans, which I'm bringing to focus. You can see there are like a minimalistic version of what they call a laptop sort of fan. So the idea is that it rotates here and air comes out here. And what we want to do is see if we can take this battery shape and kind of make it the, the, the fan sort of go inside, if that makes sense. So air is being pulled from here and blown out of the machine at the bottom. So what did I end up with? And that's the first hack version uh, because the fan didn't fit. I had to hack it <laughs> quite a lot. So let me bring it into focus a bit for you guys. So there it is. So you can see this is now my new battery hack. It's a totally uh, opened up um, um, a dummy battery. Uh, this is an $8 sort of battery um, solution you can buy. It uh, has a little bit of electronics. You can probably see it if I turn it around. I have no idea if this is now correctly in focus, but I'm too lazy to fix it. Let me do that anyway. So there we go. So you can see probably some electronics inside and you can also see that I opened up the bottom so that actually the fin which is now hidden inside um, can sort of blow the air from there. Now the first step of course was making all these holes and as a result I think uh, it does not, if we go back, back to the battery, 
Uh, let's go to a, a still a totally intact dummy. So here we have a totally intact dummy. And I think if you're using this in the camera, it was of course still, yeah, touching the metal over here and there was no way that the heat could go out. And I think already making these holes in your dummy uh, battery, so taking out the bottom and taking out the sides, I think physically the structure is strong enough as, uh, as long as you make sure that you leave all the electronics inside. I don't think the, the screw is actually needed. Worst case scenario, you will glue it all together here. And I think you should be careful that you, because this of course has some uh, strain relief, that you don't, uh, yeah, <laughs> make sure that you glue the, the wires shut so that you can still pull it a little bit when you're putting it in or you, yeah, you sort of um, pull on it by accident. But I don't think the screw is needed. I think this whole battery um, dummies, even the fake ones, are so strong compared to a real battery that there's no need to, um, to, um, to worry about that. I think these batteries, so a real one, feels actually much less sturdy than the dummy ones, at least the ones that I have. So back to this structure, you can see um, how it uh, sort of uh, is. So let me plug it in so that you get some idea. Of, um, by the way, because I kind of uh, destroyed this fan, uh, so it started off like this one, but I couldn't really make it <laughs> uh, fit the way that I wanted to, so I had some to some, um, let's say, more extreme hacking, and uh, that damaged the fan a little bit, so it's making more noise than before. And this is not a quiet noise to begin with, um, a quiet fan to begin with. So here we go, let me turn it on. So there it is. You can hear it sort of uh, go. Um, this is definitely not the quietest uh, fan in the world. Uh, does it really matter? No, because I was partly just doing it for um, testing to kind of prove that the, the sensor is the one in the battery compartment is the one that is actually giving the trouble. I think that's already a good thing to learn. Um, and I also think, um, well, um, it's it's fun to uh, play around with the solution and I can imagine actually um, I'm not saying this should be a product because I'm still a tiny bit worried let me turn this off I'm still kind of a bit worried about if it's smart I think oops sorry I think we talked about this uh, when I first came uh, our gym first came up with the solution I'm still kind of worried about sucking air out of this compartment but I think on the, 80, uh, uh, the 6300, I'm almost convinced that the whole compartment is actually closed off from the other part of the system. So I think blowing air over here, so keep, keeping this cool, and also keeping the, the memory card kind of a little bit cooler is not a bad idea. So um, will I ever use this hack myself? Probably not. Will I now use a, a dummy battery which has a hole in it? Yes, because I made a hole in it and I will probably take the fan out of it again because it, I didn't glue it shut. So if I go back to the hack version, it's actually now sort of just clicked together without any, uh, any uh, external force. So probably my guess is I will take the fan out and then just keep it um, uh, and glue it stuck together again. Because I think the holes is, is, is already a big improvement or it already helps. Uh, or maybe I will just order a new dummy and keep this one for the fun of it. But um, also like, uh, like I told you before, maybe somebody can turn this into a much more real product. Again, sorry about the focus. Uh, I'm too lazy to do it uh, any better. So we are now already at 10 minutes and um, I think there's probably enough about this. I just wanted to make one so at least somebody has made one and uh, to see if in, in concept the this solution would work. And well, the end story is, yes, it works. Does it damage the, your camera? Now looking at it and also knowing how much air we are actually blowing uh, out, my guess all of the air will be sucked from the battery compartment and it also gets the 
flow in of air through the same hole. It, I doubt if it's really sucking anything, anything through the camera, which was worrying us a little bit before. So my guess looking at the compartment now, knowing that the A6300 is much more weather sealed and, um, and, and yeah, tight, I would guess that this doesn't do anything harm uh, by sucking uh, air through, which well, if you are really worried about it, use a dummy with holes, but without a fan, because then, well, there's only passive cooling going on and should not give any problems at all. So um, thank you for watching. I'll upload this to uh, YouTube um, in the series. Very badly made production wise videos, but might be useful for anyone or someone. Okay, bye bye.